It is our final segment of the week. It is Thursday's segment, so if you're watching this all put together, this is the segment that comes out Thursday. This is our rotating segment. We have, shout out to Netflix, our, and it's not a Netflix show for this month. It's I know, an I, HBO it, it's funny show. He was like, but it's not on Netflix. We're like, then why do we have it called? <laughs> well, it's it's an old joke that Derek used to do. So I use it as a name. And we already, already said when we established this that it doesn't always have to be on Netflix. So suck it, Trebek. Uh, so wow. shout out to Netflix is the Defiant Ones over on HBO. Very good show about Jimmy Levine and Dr. Dre and their relationship and the music industry. Very, very good. Time for comics is today. And we'll say what we're talking about in just a second. In our book club, we're reading The Fall of Apollo? Trials of Apollo. Trials of Apollo. There you go. By Rick Reorded. And Animation Superstation is what? Y'all remember? It's Weeaboo Watch One Punch Man. Weeaboo Watch One Punch Man. There you go. So, today is time for comics. And today, we're talking about a little book called Lock and Key. Now... What were you were you excited like what because you were like oh, maybe maybe not you know and then no no I, what do you think just give it to me I, I, I read it in a month, thoroughly months. loved it um I, I like because you know all the comics I've read have been you know the Marvel ones mm -hmm. um I did start reading the the Power Rangers and the DC yep. universe uh, they're all not dark. Yeah. Not not super dark. Mm -hmm. Lock and key. Oh yeah. And dark. Yeah. Oh, uh, you come right off the bat of murder and family. Murder and family members. And like, you know, I like how it, it starts with once they move back into uh key house, mm -hmm. it's you know, you're following Bodie. Bodie yeah. is, is the first one to figure out that he can go ghost. Yeah. And like Danny Phantom. Exactly. And I, as you know, I'm sure, you know, in the school system, you know, I've seen some weird stuff, and I know you've probably seen some weird stuff. Oh, yeah. But if I had a kid drawing, oh, what I did this summer, family died, I can die and be a ghost and fly around the house, I'm like, kid, you either have a great imagination or you are messed up in the head. Well, but, you know, if his family did die, and then he's like, oh, yeah, I can, you know, become a ghost and fly around, that would be the time to say, someone needs some needs some, guidance. some guidance some counseling you know talk to somebody that isn't their parents you know see what's going on there. yeah you know um, that's red flag city and like you know he starts becoming friends with the uh the ring lady in the well the, the woman in the well and, she, oof, mm. and like like whenever like you heard her voice and like you, you see her and it's like you know to them it's like an attractive woman mm -hmm. i'm like oh this is some kind of demon thing oh yeah if it's like, down in a well <laughs> i'm like if it's, it's down in a well and it's all locked up it's a demon i was like, <laughs> I was like there's no way there's no and then i'll they, they pull down the mirror and you see it i'm like I told you I, was like, I told you i was like don't trust her and then lo and behold she gets the anywhere key mm -hmm. and then she turns from a woman to a man that was the confusing part, but to change her identity, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you know, obviously, she came <sighs> at the end of the uh, the first run, like Zach or whatever. His yeah, name I know. Was. I was like, man, I'm in a book. Zach shows up, and it's like, hey guys, she's like, it feels like we used to be old buddies. I'm like, how how do you not? Like, I mean, I know it, us reading it, obviously, we yeah, know, yeah, but like, I think Brody knows something's up. Bodie, Bodie, B O D E. Whatever. I think he. I think he knows something's up. Because he's like, eh, whatever. Yeah, I think he knows something's up. But like, and at the end, you know, he's doing his little fishing thing, and he has the magnet at the end. He pulls up a key, mm -hmm. and it just has a head on it, not like an actual head, but like the the back of the key, like the end of it's the yeah the head. And I don't know what it goes to, but it did show. Like in the art, like it shows, you know, the head of Bodhi, but it's like an x ray and it shows like parts in his brain where it's like names, mom's to mom, you know, my toys and stuff. But at the base of his like skull where the, the spine connects yeah, everything, yeah. the key that he found is inserted right there. Yeah. 
So I don't know if it's something that inserts into your skin or not. I don't know why I'm sitting like that. I don't know either. But I'm just listening at this point. Oh, you know, it's very interesting to to read. I want to read the second book. Mm-hmm. I want to know what's going on more in yeah. this universe because there's only seven books. Yeah, um, like there's that. That's the whole run, like a seven. It's done. And, it's not like freaking Walking Dead, and you got like three hundred. It's written very interestingly. Um, you know, it the does, art's interesting as yeah. well. Like it's not super realistic. It's got like a style to it. Yeah. Um, very gory. Be, uh, a lot now, of blood. You have not touched one of the most interesting characters. And that's Sam. The murderer. Yeah. I was I was about to get to that. Okay, but. okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, you can no, no, if you want to talk. No. Like I because I was about to say it, it does tackle a lot of real world yeah. issues. And yeah. I was about to bring Sam in about, you know, how he's like, Hey mom, remember when I, when you said that if I made you know, a high enough, uh, you know, score on my SATs that we would talk college, and you could see his mom's over there smoking a cigarette, not giving him, you know, a care in the world. She's like, "I'm going out tonight. You're staying with your father." And, and his then, father's his abusing, father's him. abusing him, and you know, of course, you know, I wouldn't go as far as I would trust the lady in the picture that's in the well talking to me in my counselor's office, because when he looks at the picture of the, yeah, yeah key house you see she pops up she's like help me <laughs> yeah like i probably wouldn't trust demon lady in a in a picture but like you know she talks about you know when he goes to prison for killing um their father he's like you promised me a new face because oh uh what's his name ty yeah messed, messed him, him up. up with a brick pretty bad like yeah. you see he got off easy, though, in my yeah. opinion. Like, if if he would have killed my father, I wouldn't have stopped until his brain was all over the uh, ground. It would have been hard to stop. No, I wouldn't have. I, I would like, I, I would, and then I would eat his brain and be like, <laughs> I would like, <laughs> what is uh heroes? Oh, <laughs> Scott, Scott Skyler. Is it Skyler? Skyler. Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> But I don't know what his powers is. <laughs> his powers was he stole other people's powers. No, I'm powers. saying like Sam's powers would be just me wanting to uh, murder people and be schizophrenic. Yeah. <laughs> He's relatively smart. He was very smart and very, like, he didn't care. Like, if you were in his way or you if died. You, you, you died. And that's one of the things that, you know, like DC, like, you never really see the Joker go that far. A, a few times you do. But, like, this had no holds bar. It was just like, bang. Yeah. Like uh, the truck driver, he deserved it. He, yeah, the truck driver wasn't wasn't a good. <laughs> he wasn't a kind hearted man. Yeah, but the, like the bus driver, like the bus and everything, like <laughs> the guy in the boat. Yeah, all of that sort of stuff. Um, really love the book. Very good writing. It has this like supernatural side to it, but it also has like this real world side to it. Oh yeah, and I, I'm I'm glad that there's more than just one book and I, i'm curious to see what everybody else thought about it um be sure to let us know like in comments or we could talk about it in the uh our facebook group over mm-hmm. on facebook the nerd cave mm-hmm. uh, i mean it was like i said it was wonderfully done um and i did decide that today we're going to continue with the second <laughs> book because I'm very intrigued because I was going to read it whether or not we did it on the show anyway. Yeah. So it was your turn to pick. Yeah. So we're doing uh, volume two, volume two, run two, whatever you want to. Yeah. Um, of lock and key. So we're going to figure out what that key that Bodie found at the bottom of that little river lake majigger um, mm-hmm. does. Yeah. So I'm excited to read. I haven't read the second one. I have it, but I haven't yeah. read it yet. So I'm looking I'm forward to that. Uh, so again, guys, let us know what you thought of Lock and Key, the first volume down in the comments below. We always love getting to discuss the comics and everything. So let us know. Uh, again, we hope you enjoyed the Nerd Cave. This has been the episode 222. The episode. The episode. There's only one of these in existence from the Nerd Cave podcast, right. episode 222. So there you go. That's it. Again, guys, you can get all of this early if you go over to patreon.com slash nerdcave. Toss us a few dollars. You can see it being recorded live on Patreon each and every week, except for one week where we do Do it live live for for everybody. everybody. 
And guys, you can also get some good perks. We, you know, give out the the let's play each week early to our Patreon supporters. We've got awesome content there just for Patreon. So definitely go support us over there. And if you can't toss us a dollar or more, you can go over to youtube.com slash nerdcam network where more than likely you're watching this right now. And you can get it segment by segment, day by day until it goes up on YouTube and podcast services around the globe. Around the world. Yeah. So there you go, guys. It's all yeah. in the books. It's all been laid out for you. Mm -hmm. It was like a book that had misspellings and commas in the wrong place. And, and pop-ups. And written by five year olds. Yeah. Everybody loves pop-up books. Oh, I thought you thought like, like pop-ups like on your like computer screen. I'm like, no one no, loves no. so pop-up books. Pop-up books. Pop -up books. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are mis you know, misspellings of words, so that's that's the my mispronunciations. But Guess what, everybody? You enjoyed it. You know it. Oh, yeah. And that's why you come back. That's why you come back each and every week. So, we're going to be live streaming, like always, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, check those out. Have fun with us, just like you did today. Guys, this has been Zach and Robbie. Have a If you enjoyed that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want gaming content, you can go over to Nerd Cave Gaming right there. If you want to support us, you can check out Patreon right there. If you want more videos, check them out right here. Go ahead. Pick one of them. I wonder which one you're going to do. You're going to be cool. You pick any of them. All four of them. You'd be awesome.